got a minute and 15 seconds? Yes, but you haven't, because it's the one minute, mate. Yes, the part of the programme where we try and make something, fingers crossed, in under a minute, using bits and pieces you could find around your home. Today is my turn to make. And thankfully, it's my turn to time. And this is all it takes, a juice carton and a couple of compact mirrors. If you don't have these lying around at home, you can pick them up cheaply in a chemist. Now, if Naomi can make this, it is brilliant. Don't think you should go no. What are you doing? I'm giving a bit of a clue. Ah, oh, that's a good clue, actually. Mm. OK, try and guess as Naomi makes. Are you Wait, ready? Before I start, I want to tell you it's a one-minute make that is head and shoulders above the rest. Another clue. Three. Oh, what are you doing? I'm getting ready. I haven't got time. Three, two... <laughs> Put it down! Oh, God. Three, two, one, go! Right, I've got to make loads of holes in this juice carton. Let's start off at the top. OK, five seconds has gone already. She's made three holes. Shh. If you're going to do this, obviously, take the orange out before you do that. <laughs> Good idea. Three at the bottom. Ten seconds gone. One side. Very calm at the moment. Oh, no, pencil's broken. I've got another one. Don't oh. worry. Don't panic. Twenty seconds has gone. And then uh, some down here. The words How many? speed up is a good idea. How 25 many? seconds is gone. 25 seconds. Oh, go on, piss. 30 seconds is gone. <laughs> right, now I've got a cut out. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a go. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. All these holes. Right. 40 seconds is Square gone. Square out right on this side. Get out. Right. Shh. Shh. Don't put me off. 50 seconds is gone. Oh, dear. We go. 10, 9, okay. 8. Seven, six. <laughs> Last five seconds. You've got a chance. Quick. Let's just shove those in. <laughs> One minute. Stop the clock. One minute and two seconds. Do you know something? I think we should allow it because I did sort of get it. Yeah. There. Does, does it, does it, does yes, that's it. I've just got to add the finishing touch. It will work. Yeah. Right. Tell them what it is. Go on. Have a look. I'll add my secret agent hat and suit. And I've got my very own fingertips spy periscope. Phew, very useful for seeing up and over high things. Test it out, does it work? I can see you. Do you ever get the feeling that you're being watched? Now, if Naomi can make it in one minute, two seconds, then anyone can make it. And it really does work, I promise. There's one secret though, you must make sure that the mirrors are at the exact same angle. And there's one way of ensuring that. If you cut a piece of card into a triangle shape like this, that way you can line the mirrors up and they'll be where you need them to be. And the way it works is this. When you look in the mirror at the bottom, you are seeing the image that's reflected in the mirror at the top. So you should be able to see my eye, because I can see you. Right, let's have another go. Look all the way round. There's the studio. Cool, isn't it? Let's see what else I can find. Or how about making a footballer periscope? Very handy for seeing up and over the crowds at the footy matches. <laughs> or a large eyeball like this one, made from a big tin foil box for extra nosy people. I saw that. And if you check out the Fingertips website, I see it, yeah. <laughs> Click on one minute and there you'll find all of these designs that you can print off and stick on. Oh, yeah. So why don't you try and beat the clock? Yes, there'll be no need to stick your neck out. Just let the fingertip spy periscope do the work for you. Hello. Fingertips top tip. If you're using glue and want a smooth surface, use a lolly stick to spread the glue evenly. Perfect. 